Well, by popular demand, we're back with another Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra camera comparison, and this time it's going up against the brand new OnePlus 11 that was just announced for international market. So let's see what the cameras on these two devices can do in everyday use. Let's take a look. For those unfamiliar with the camera specifications on these two devices, let's do a quick rundown. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has a brand new 200 megapixel main camera on the back, along with two 10 megapixel sensors for 3X and 10X telephoto, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide, followed by another 12 megapixel sensor on the front for the selfie camera. For video capture, all of those cameras can do 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, with that main sensor going up to 8K video at 60 FPS. When it comes to the OnePlus 11, it has a 50 megapixel primary camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and then 32 megapixel portrait camera on the back, and then a 16 megapixel selfie camera up front. That one can record 1080p video, while the rear cameras, the ultra wide and the main, can capture 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, but that 2X portrait camera cannot record any video whatsoever. This here's a look at video capture from both of these devices, starting with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the phone and then switching over to the main sensors. Unfortunately, on the OnePlus device, you have a slider rather than simply being able to tap to change between the different lenses. So, going over to 2x zoom on the OnePlus takes a little bit longer, and then anything after that on that device. And this here's a look at video from the selfie cameras on the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the OnePlus 11. Now the main difference here is that you actually don't have 4K video capture out of the OnePlus 11. You do have it on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which does make a big difference. But if you want the best video quality possible, you always want to use that main camera. I'm going to flip things around to show you what the difference looks like right here. And here we go. This is a look at the main sensors on the back of both of these devices. Of course, I can't see what the video quality looks like right now because I'm staring at the back of the phones, but it should be a lot clearer than what we're getting out of those selfie cameras.
Here's a look at video capture in low light conditions from both of these devices, starting off with the main cameras on the back and then switching over to the ultra wides, which as mentioned, have to use that manual slider on the OnePlus device. And then we're gonna switch over to the 3X zoom on the Galaxy S23 Ultra and 2X zoom on the OnePlus. Here's a look at video capture from the selfie cameras on both of these devices. The OnePlus phone does look to brighten things up a whole lot, even though it does have an inferior camera sensor for that selfie camera. That's when you're looking back at this, probably on a computer screen, it's probably going to have a lot more noise to it than the Galaxy S23 Ultra. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And of course, just like earlier, flipping things around to the main cameras on the back of both of these devices, just to give you an idea of what the difference is between that selfie camera and the main sensors. Especially in low light, there should be a huge difference between the two. And that's going to do it for this camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the OnePlus 11. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and which device you'd rather use on a day-to-day -day basis for capturing your photos and videos. I do have more camera comparisons coming up between both of these devices and other smartphones that are on the market, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.